Hello gorgeous ones, how are you? Leanne Marine here, so I'm just moving a couple of things around. I've got my um, Instagram going as well. I'm making sure it's all set up. I, just, I set it up and then I'm moving it to the other side. So one moment, get that out of the way. Kia ora, kia ora. I'm checking everything's going over here. I'm doing the weekly purpose message today. Hello, and a, and a bit of a check-in. It's been seven days since the last check-in. So, um, welcome to our new sisters, our new members. And if you're on Instagram, we have a, well, it's a free membership uh, sisterhood over in the Goddess in a circle over on Facebook, so you're more than welcome to come and join us over there. And so each week I come in live. Hello, Connie, and do a purpose message reading using cards. So I'm actually doing a using different cards today. I thought, oh, because it's my birthday, right? It's my birthday today. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? I'm, I'm sitting. Kids are going to school. Um, I've got some dinner planned tonight with, with catch up with a friend. And so I've got the whole day to myself. And what do you do on your birthday? What do you do? You know, um, I could be doing journaling or visioning for the next year. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. I've got a few things I want to catch up on. But anyway, today I am using these cards for our purpose message. Okay. And they are palmistry at your fingers. Now... As you know, as many of you know, or if you don't know, I'm a master hand analyst using scientific hand analysis, and which is a form of ancient palmistry, but basically the creator of this work threw out what he couldn't prove and kept in what he could. There's the science around it. And the fingerprints actually show your life purpose. So if you, have, if you need clarity around it, the fingerprints, because they never change. And so there's a lot of, lot of palmistry books out there, a lot of amazing palmists. But we kind of got a really bad rap. Hello, hello, you know, Instagram. A, a bad rap because, you know, it's this people who do future re futuristic readings or um, predictive readings, I should say, using hands. Um, that's not what we do. We we actually look at hands as a system. There's an actual method and a system. Not that you don't use. You can use your intuition when you read hands because. Everyone has intuition, so of course you're going to do that, but it's based on what's what the lines look like um, at that actual snapshot of time, right, when you take a, a printing of your hands, because the lines can change, fingerprints don't. So, anyway, I'm going on. So today I wanted to do a reading, each week I do a reading about, uh, just from cards, oracle cards, goddess cards, and... Uh, to support you in your purpose, if you have any questions about your purpose, because you know, basically, uh, we are souls here having an experience, you know, in this human body, right? And mine's getting on in years, <laughs> so, so it's good to celebrate where you are at, where you are at, and I'm gonna get to the reading, so I don't know if anybody's given me any comments there. Um, but having this experience, so we come down with this amazing, beautiful map. We just have to know how to read it. And so what I do is I train healers um, and spiritual entrepreneurs to read hands so that we can get this work out into the world and support each other in our purpose. Okay, so today um, I want to, I'm going to this deck of cards. It's by um, palmist Johnny Fincham. I think he's in the UK and he's got a couple of books. Um, and not everything I agree on, but I do love that you can have cards. You know, you're learning how to, if you're uh, learning how to read hands, it's good to have some kind of card. So you can choose, okay, one, two, or three, or the whole lot. And I'm going to pull a card, and wherever that card, there's a message, you know, there's some um, content there on whatever line it is, whatever fingerprint it is, and I'm going to um, interpret what that card is for you and your purpose. So... Yeah, because again, like, you know, especially on birthdays, it's, it's time to, for me, it's time to just sort of stop for a moment, see, you know, what's, reflection, let's talk about reflection, 
And so before I get into that, I had a an in-person goddess gathering on Friday night. And I just want to give you know a big shout out to Kaya. Kaya, who was our guest speaker. Um, and she taught us some Māori breath work, um, Māori Māori from New Zealand. She's from New Zealand and she was doing Māori work and energy and it was just, just amazing. And I actually really appreciated, like there were eight women, eight women and, and I, uh, how how we missed like gathering in person, you know, especially in Melbourne, like, you know, we were all locked down, one of the most locked down cities. Um, and just the, just being with each other, you know, being with each other, talking, um, moving, eating, you know, we had some supper and just the conversations. Um, and we did readings for each other and we did energy work and it was just pure, it was amazing, amazing. So I just want to be, give a big shout out to Kaya, who was our guest speaker there. Hopefully she can come and do some stuff in her work. And she's, a, she's training to be, well, she's, she did the year-long hand analysis as well. Okay, so I'm choosing three cards, three cards. So in your mind's eye, like just check in with yourself. Which card? One. Look that way because they're two, and we're going to go. Okay, this blue one looks cool. Okay, so let's go with the first card here. Okay, really interesting. Now, this is um, actually in hand analysis, it's a challenge marker. Now, a challenge marker, lines can change, right? Lines can change, it just depends on your neural pathways because we can change our mind. And so, this is a challenge marker, it's called the Via Lascivia. The Via Lascivia. Now, it's a real weird name, but it's a quite, it's a you can see on the card here it's quite rare in the hands but if you have this line here in your hand on the bottom now this is our moon zone and it's kind of curving down and it can come come a little bit longer as well a little bit longer so I'm just seeing what he's at so the Via Lascivia is the curved line running from the base of the of the um, moon zone um, to the bottom of the lifeline right your lifeline oh, your lifeline is here Right around there, and it's this line that kind of comes across there. Now, as a challenge marker, it can kind of be um, somewhere we're attracted to, like stimuli, like um, caffeine, nicotine. It's kind of it's kind of we kind of call it an addiction line as well, right? So if it's showing up there, like there's there's uh, there's good and there's not so good things when you have this line in your hand. So if you've had, if you are, if you, even if you don't have this line in your hand, this is a message for you. Okay, so the Vela Sevilla. Now it's a, it's a, what, in your purpose, okay, in your purpose, are there things that are distracting you? Okay, so the Vela Sevilla, it's like, do you drink, do you get over, um, over excited about the thing? So, and I'm just looking at my coffee. This is my coffee. I thought I'm going for my bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I mean, a very big coffee. Now, this is typical Vila Sevilla. I didn't just get the small one, I got the big, big one. Okay? It's my birthday, I'm allowed to. But if I was going to get that, three of these a day, then that would be the Vila Sevilla at work, right? I'm, I'm, I want to get this um, the stimuli from something other than natural causes. So, if this is your card, okay, just watch what you're doing. Watch how much you're eating, sugar. Um, it feels very physical for me, okay? So it feels very physical. Hello, Michelle. So just watch what kind of extra, even too much TV, right? And, and what's happening in the news and, and stuff. So we're, our senses are getting so um, bombarded with things. But then we can get addicted to it. It's like, what's happening here? What's happening here? Okay, well, and you're going down that rabbit hole. You don't need to. Okay, so this first card, the Vila Sevilla, just watch what you're being stimulated by. Okay, and then come back to purpose. Come back to purpose. That's the whole, I think that's the whole message of that card. Very interesting. Okay. All right, so second card. This is a second card. Big cup of champagne is better in glasses. Yes, there's no champagne in that yet. Um, we're gonna have a 
Okay, so the second card is relating to this line here in your hand, and it is called the Apollo line. I'll put it over here on Insta. The Apollo line. Now, the Apollo line is your ring finger, right? It's your ring finger here. Apollo, left and right. Right is out in the world, left is more internal. And so the line here, if you have a line there, um, it just, it's actually more creativity. You are, you are um, this create creative being, you're here to create, and you're here to be seen. So it's very similar, this whole Apollo finger is about being seen and being appreciated and creating art and and art in any form right it can be the artist right um, it can be the actor it can be creating an amazing spreadsheet it can be an architect a, a building but I want for this one so I'm seeing because I work with healers who often can hide out I used to be one of them I totally get it and so a lot of us have this Apollo as our purpose or this Apollo line and so if we are not embracing that we are hiding out um, we are judging ourselves we are being critical of ourselves because if I actually showed my course if I showed my talk if I showed up and did my dance or my presentation I could be criticized for that heaven forbid past lives we've probably been killed for it so there's that memory there okay but again also this tall poppy syndrome that happens to be in New Zealand and Australia a lot and probably the UK America not so much I, I love it you know I love going over there it was like yes we celebrated being out you know celebrated each other and ourselves but over here it's like don't rise too far above the tribe okay because the tribe will protect you because if you put your head up you're going to get it right so there's that energy too so if you have this if you have this in your purpose if you have that line there if you even have a six-pointed star which is a gift marking anything Apollo anything Apollo finger six-pointed star like that um, is are you showing up are you showing up are you okay um, to show up and to be appreciated and also are you receiving the applause right it's kind of like you know when, when you have your birthday like everyone's posting on there and um, you know there's lots and lots of messages and you want to get back to them and then you're like oh you just give up but then you're like oh that, it's a bit too much now right it's a bit too much <laughs> instead of going yes it's my birthday it's you get this one time a year so embrace being seen embrace being seen okay and Apollo is also the Sun right the Sun so think about the Sun the Sun when you when the Sun shines we're all happy so give, bringing your gifts out into the world makes other people happy which is part of your purpose okay so we went from kind of addiction to the Apollo line and our third card so this is you this is your th you pick number three okay so really um, this is about the water hand. So in hand analysis, these cards are awesome. I'm very proud. You, you love these, Michelle, I bet. So in hand analysis, you have two maps. Okay, and there's two maps. There is your soul map, your soul purpose map, which is the fingerprints. Okay, the fingerprints show your soul purpose, your soul, your life purpose, your life lesson, and your life school, which is the foundation. Then there's another map, which is your personality map. Your personality map, I'm going to get to the card, hold on. Um, your personality map is uh, the way you um, feel, the way you think, you know, your, your non-negotiable needs. And your personality can change, right? Your personality can be molded by parents and your upbringing and all that. But you can, you don't... You have to go through your personality. You have to embrace your personality to get through to your purpose in your fingerprints. So, water hand. This is a water hand. And you'll notice, I'm just trying to see if I can find a different hand in this. So, the shapes of your hand, there is a water hand, an earth hand, an air hand, and a fire hand. Now, this is kind of like your, um, your temperament. Your temperament. So a water hand is normally, so look at your hands, look at your, and even if you don't have a water hand, if you have an earth hand, which is a very 
big hand, a, a square tight hand, shorter fingers. Um, this is still for you because we're talking about the energy of water so and the meaning of the hand. So the water hand is a slimmer kind of hand. Mine's an air hand, but a water hand would be long fingers, right? Long fingers, bit of a, a long, and it's kind of wispy, you know, it's kind of ethereal, right? You probably know people like that. They have this beautiful long hand. So a water hand is, is a person who is very emotional, right? They're very sensitive. Okay, so they're sensitive, they're changeable, they're responsible, uh, responsive. So you think of water, water will always find its way into the vessel, right? It will always follow the stream where it needs to go, it fits where it needs to go. So people with water hands really have to watch out um, if, the, if they are doing work for themselves or they're just changing with the with the environment that they are in or the person that they are in. They'll, they'll kind of, you know, may go along with them. But they're very, you know, they, um, they're very beautiful, sensitive souls. So if this is your card, and even if you, have, you don't have a water hand, this is about you being in touch with your emotional side more. Your, uh, your, Okay, yeah, so the water hand also can go into the depths, right? You can go water, depths, ocean, diving deep. So in your purpose, if you are not meeting your purpose now, or if, if you feel you're not, there's something else to your purpose, you just can't quite put your hand on it, you're going to have to go into feelings, right? You're going to have to go into feelings and feeling what that purpose can be. Or get your hands read, right? Or do the hand analysis course. But emotional people, they are so beautiful, right? But they can get, they can drown in other people's emotions. So watch that. Put on some boundaries. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I don't know if I've got any comments here. Let me see. Okay. Does that make sense? Gorgeous thumb. Okay. So there you have it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. You've got our three cards. I will put them up. Now, this is not the, the work that I study, but in palmistry and scientific hand analysis, there's a lot of similarities, right? Differently, it is based on ancient palmistry, but not the uh, not the kind of cross put silver in my palm, and I'll tell you a future. It is a very respected and very amazing modality that you can learn and put it into your own work. And I've based my whole business around this. Um, and yeah, it's it's truly amazing. So, Via Lascivia, Apollo line, and Water Hand. I'm gonna put these up into, take a photo of these, and I'm going to leave it with you. Let me know, does this resonate with you, or was it totally off, you know, off here? Now, I am doing a March intake for scientific hand analysts students right it's a very small class this one because I am changing the way I do this it's the last opportunity to get in at this level um, it's my birthday I'm gonna change things up at this level so if you want to join us for this program uh, just go to handanalysisacademy.com look at the study or just private message me here and we can have a chat and see if it's for you or not and keep in touch all right so i'm going to that's it for me i'm off to go and do things for my birthday i don't know i don't know what i'm going to do <laughs> to do another reading and and maybe go and get a massage or something until dinner so lots of love to you everyone have a great day and we'll see you later thanks michelle